approximately seven months removed from the start of Odyssey or Enterprise Justice in our courts, it now takes more people, more time to accomplish less than it did before this product was implemented. Our prosecutors report that in our district court trial courtrooms, where a single prosecutor could previously resolve as many as 80 misdemeanor cases within a single three-hour session, it now takes two prosecutors to handle half as many cases in that time because this product makes multitasking largely impossible. Now, when we speak of e-courts as if, as if it's one unitary system, uh, but a prosecutor must actually use two systems to do something as simple as setting a new court date. A prosecutor must go into one system to provide the clerk a court date and then leave that system to attach a new document, a motion to continue, for instance, to submit, that, to, submit to the clerk so they can send it to a judge for signature. Said another way, something that used to take 30 seconds with one step now can take six to seven steps all right, six to seven steps for a full five minutes. And that's fine maybe for one case, but in a district like mine, which sees hundreds of cases come through its courts in a day, five days a week, it's a recipe for delay, and more importantly, it's a recipe for increased human error. To get something signed now, a lawyer who scans it to a clerk and then transmits it to a judge. But there's no prompt, no alert, uh, as was, was indicated by the director, that uh, lets you know that the order's actually been signed. That means we've got to go back into the system, not only to execute the action, but to repeatedly confirm that it's happened and been accepted and completed. AOC gets a lot of credit for having forged important progress in creating some alerts for the completion of service. But there are so many other actions that it takes more and more time to confirm. And that's more and more steps. And again, each of these steps increases the likelihood of error. Again, eCourts has many components. Uh, we haven't talked a whole lot about e-warrants, which is the arrest processing component that logs the entry of pretrial uh, release conditions. And then there's Odyssey, which logs the court events. Those two programs, in fact, do not do a good job of talking to one another. Making a simple change in release conditions in e-warrants can be sufficient to eliminate, which is to say evaporate, a court date in Odyssey. That requires another step for the clerk to then go back into that second program and re-enter the date. And again, additional steps means additional chances for error. 